Hello everyone, this is Estoincha here. Welcome to the channel. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a combined video for all of you who feel a connection with a twin flame. So I will be going ahead first with earth signs. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The reading is meant for May. However, time is fluid, so this could be May, even June. So I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of your person of interest, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Okay. So we have here opening. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck Oops, by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. second. Okay. Okay. So we have here opening cycles, laughter, followed by surrender. After surrender, you have pleasure. Ooh, then you have boundaries. Yikes. It was going so well. Oh my goodness. And then you have the crisis card under the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's see earth signs. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear earth sign, the things that have happened between you and I, I really do want to open up to you. I want to open up and talk to you about certain things, certain things that are in my life that have happened, certain things that have happened with you and I. I have been very quiet over time and I've not been able to express myself to you. There are many things in my heart and my mind that I have not told you. And these behaviors, these repetitive patterns, they keep going around in a circle in a cycle in my mind over and over again. I am obsessing over us, over the situation. And I've realized that you are that one person who makes me feel very complete. You are like a best friend to me. There are so many things about you that complete me. You know how to make me laugh. You even know how to make me cry. Here, I have understood that there are certain things that I have to come to grips with. Perhaps we can't be exactly the way that you want in a romantic way. There are certain things that I want. In my heart, I do sense that you have surrendered to me. I know this. And I also feel that you and I both belong to each other. There is this strange kind of 
connection that the both of us have. And I don't know how to put my finger on it, but I know it is something different and it's something unique. I feel as though I belong to you and you belong to me. There is so much pleasure that I get from this connection. So many things that have happened and so many things that do happen it gives me physical pleasure and it also gives me spiritual pleasure. But there are many things that have happened and that are happening. And for this reason, I have to put up boundaries. I feel it's necessary right now to keep these boundaries up because it is very overwhelming, the feelings and emotions that I have for you. I don't understand why and how I feel like this. I just know that I do. The feelings that I have for you are very overwhelming. I am in a crisis mode. My mind is a blur. There are certain things I want to make sense of, but I'm unable to. My emotions are just very overwhelmed right now. I am very overwhelmed. And I can't make a proper decision, even if I try. This all is so overwhelming for me that I don't know how to handle it and I've put up boundaries. And it's hard for me to even try to open up, even though deep down that is what I want to do. I want to open up to you. All right, earth sign. <clears throat> this person's in the complicated state right now. They are <clears throat> in that phase of realizing that you are somebody that they can't stop thinking about. And so because they don't feel like this with anybody else, it is difficult for them to make that decision on what to do. How do I deal with the situation? It's sim simply because people that have been through things, we have experience, so we know how to handle it. But sometimes when we get something new, how do we handle it? This individual is feeling this for the first time in their life. They're starting to realize that this situation is beyond them. And because of that, they are unable to make the type of decision that they should be because they don't know what type of decision they should make. I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. So let's have a look at what is creating any type of blockage here. So you have the Eight of Coins followed by the Princess of Coins. All right, let's have a look at the Eight of Coins. The individual that you're dealing with right now, Earth Sign, they are avoiding the work that needs to be done in this connection. So it's almost as if they're in denial. They know that this is a very intense and spiritual connection, but they're not going beyond that. What they want to do is bring all of the things that they've had in their heart to the next level. However, even after certain efforts are put in, they feel dissatisfied that it's just not good enough. And it may not be exactly what they thought. This person feels as if um, things between you are too good to be true. And so because it's just so unnatural for them, they hesitate. No matter how much work they put in, they think you will be just like the one before. Princess of Coins. Here with the Princess of Coins, 
we have this person has spent too much time thinking so with remember we had the boundaries card so with the boundaries card this also means that there was a lack of communication so this person has spent too much time thinking and not enough doing they're not doing enough but all they were doing is just sitting and thinking there was no action being taken and there was a sense of unrealistic planning so even earth sign if they had had any type of plans they did not have their plans ground in reality it was all just up in the air it was all fantasy it was mainly in their mind but they never actually have done anything so far that's more practical and that's what needs to be done in order for things to get better the situation calls for needing to be and wanting to be practical here proper planning okay next i have angel therapy cards let's have a look at that wow a very very strong message guys so this message is for you here we have Doreen Virtue's angel therapy cards heal away addictions it is time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing so addictions means repetitive behaviors this could be you behaving in a certain way you having a particular habit maybe a certain thought there's an idea that you have there's a suspicion that you have there's something going on where every time you do the same thing you get the same result you can only get a different result if you change your method if you use the same method over and over again you're always going to get the same result in order to get a different result your method your strategy your addiction any type of habits have to change here under the bottom of the deck you have clear sorry cancel clear and delete use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form ask angels to cancel the negative effects of past negative thinking okay the effects of past negative thinking so there is because things have not progressed for, forward you're feeling quite negative and with our mind we radiate a frequency and when we radiate negative energy we are attracting negative energy they see it they feel it they sense it and they latch onto us like a magnet but if you do that with positive energy what would happen you would attract positive energy as well and that's good that is what you need let's have a look at archangel answer cards by Doreen virtue wow you had a flyer this literally just flew out communicate clearly aha uh -huh. forgiveness wow that's pretty powerful ask for help from others okay so here you're dealing with a situation where somebody needs to say sorry somebody deserves an answer it appears that the communication between the both of you it has to be more clear and concise do not mock do not taunt don't be indirect do not be sarcastic because if you get a chance to speak to this person once um, that you need to make sure that you do it the correct way and you don't make any misunderstandings forgiveness somebody here is going to forgive someone so that's that's good that's on the cards here and ask for help from others because unlikely under the bottom of the deck it is something that you thought that it was here you're going to gain some different perspective from other people when you ask them for help or for suggestions 
When you do talk to others, this could be a family friend, this could be a friend of yours, it could be family, anybody, um, a therapist. But when you ask this individual and tell them about your situation, they're going to give you a different perspective. And it's going to seem strange to you because it's unlikely something that you thought you would have considered. And that, my dear, is your reading. Thank you once again for tuning in. Next up will be fire signs. Hello, fire signs. Let's have a look at what your twin flame is feeling towards you currently. Again, keep in mind, this is a general love reading for twin flames. Okay, you got a flyer here. Actually, I would call this a popping card. It just popped right up. You have here death and rebirth. Okay, followed by relationship. Then you have power. After power, you have cycles. Abundance. And doubt. Under the bottom of the deck, you have opening. So somebody here wants to clear the air. Somebody is tired of what's going on, of the repetitive pattern. And they feel that it's time for a change. Okay. I'm going to express to you, fire sign, what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear fire sign, the situation that has occurred between us has made me think long and hard about where I was with you and where I'm headed now. Things cannot be the same as they used to. I see things very differently now. When we were together, when I was in your company, I understand and I feel things could have been better. I realize that now. I didn't realize this back then. And so what I want to do is put to death all that happened before and have something come brand new. A rebirth of this connection that you and I share. What I want is a second chance. I want a second chance in love, in a relationship with you. I want to be in a relationship with you. I see what it's like when you are with others and I like what I see. I want to be a part of that. You have no idea how much power you have over me. You do. You can seduce me without even trying and tempt me without even trying. There are so many things about you that are so unique and different. You have this way of making me emotionally vulnerable and weak in the knees. And I can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you and the way things have been between us, the things that have happened. I can't stop thinking. I am obsessing over you. I do feel that being with you would be so great because we make a great power couple. We make a great team. But I doubt that any of this prosperity and this 
growth that we would have together would mean anything because of what I did, the way I've behaved. I don't know if you will give me a second chance around. This is why I'm doubting. I'm doubting myself and I'm doubting my own abilities, the things that I would once do. I don't know if I can trust myself anymore. I really do want to open up to you and talk to you about certain things, things that are on my heart, in my mind, deep down, issues and problems, desires and fantasies that I've kept deep within. So many things are on my mind and I just keep it in there. What I want to do is express things to you and show you how I feel. I want to open up to you. All right, fire sign. Yeah, this person has made their choice and they've made their decision. Now, whether they're going to take action or not, that may come later, but at least they know that they want a relationship and they want it with you. All right, let's have a look at what is blocking this connection. Balance. Okay. And then we have the Four of Coins. The Balance card here talks about the feeling in this connection. There's a lack of harmony now. A lack of equilibrium. There's also a lack of self-control. Here, there is a desire to have union between the conscious and the subconscious mind, but that's not happening. There is an imbalance. There is also discomfort. There's an inability to find peace within oneself or with others. This person is finding a lack of inspiration. You see, inability to find peace within or with others. This is why this person is having doubts. The doubt card. There are doubts. Four of coins. Being miserly with wealth. Having a lack of security and feeling insecure. Here it talks about conversely being overly generous and spendthrift. The need to conserve and protect resources. Some of you, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, some of you may be dealing with someone who is very terrible with money. They spend money left, right and center and you end up having to help and pick up the pieces or other family members or other friends are paying for this person. There's something here to do with money. Money may be a factor. Either they just can't find a job and earn money right now, which is the way it is around the world, but it's about money. The worst thing about this card is that it talks about this individual is spending more than they're earning. And that means that they're depleting their resources. The problem with that is that why are they doing that? Nobody does it on purpose. This person is doing it because they're trying to distract themselves from what the real issues are. So they're spending money on things so that they don't have to think about this connection. So this is what they're doing. That's not, that's not good. And they try to keep themselves busy by occupying themselves with bought items, purchased items. Here we have for you 
Angel Therapy. So I'm going to get one card. This is by Doreen Virtue. Archangel Answer Cards. Oh my goodness, you have the same card the previous previous sign got, Earth Sign. So here you have Throat Chakra and Heal Away Addictions. Throat Chakra. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. So it has taken a while, but you may have noticed, Fire Sign, that enough is enough and you're wanting to, or you are going to be, or you already are speaking the truth. You're more open now than you were before. Heal away addictions under the bottom of the deck. It is time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So here, this is the same card that we had for Earth Sign. And it is certain things that you are doing or saying, um, behaviors, they should change. And it's for the betterment of yourself. Because the reason why this card came up is this behavior or this habit that you may have is one of the issues in this situation. It's causing issues. You might not know this, but maybe this person's not telling you that they just don't like a particular habit. And that's normal. That happens with all of us. Maybe the habit is unhealthy for you. There's some good habits and then there's some bad habits. Bad habits are usually when we know that it's unhealthy for your body, mentally, physically, spiritually. Okay, very nice. Here it talks about, these are Archangel Answer cards by Doreen Virtue. This talks about perfect timing. So some of you may be wanting that time to be now. Well, the angels here, Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, are telling you that when the timing is right, that is when it will happen. That will be the right time, but only when it happens. I know it doesn't sound like much, but if it happens any time before, it may not bring about the best of results. So it will take time for good results to come. Here, the angels are saying that there's something better if you believe. So if some of you are stuck in a situation, they are telling you that there's something better than the situation that you're in right now. And if you believe that you can have big and happy changes, then yes, that will happen. You will be able to manifest it. But you're going to have to put your belief into it and heal away those addictions. And that fire sign is your reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope some of you resonated. All right, guys. Next up is air signs. Hello, air signs. So I'll be looking into what it is that your twin flame is feeling towards you currently. Again, keep in mind this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every air sign out there. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, so you have here compassion. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky.
Hmm. Sorry. Two came out. Okay. Who are you? Oh boy. Okay. That's pretty particular. So some of you may be dealing with a third party situation. Maybe even four parties. However, this doesn't have to be particularly just that. This could also be someone who is not having enough time to dedicate to you and they're simply somewhere else doing something else. It doesn't have to be a person. They can be doing a job. They can be working, finishing up a project, maybe just working over hours. So this third party card can also mean family, taking care of children. You know, if you're, if you're a single parent, you have to dedicate a certain amount of time to your loved ones at home plus your child plus the person of interest. So not a lot of time is being dedicated. So sometimes this is also when we talk about a third party, this is also the category it comes under. Just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to drink some water. All right, so you have here compassion, healing, power, mothering, nourishment, shape-shifting, and then you have responsibility under the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear air sign, I have put you in a very difficult position. It's a dilemma. It's a very strange predicament. At this point in time, I feel sorry for you. Sorry for the type of situation you find yourself in. And sorry for what I did to you and this is why you're here. I do feel compassion and empathy towards you. I see things from a different perspective. And I know what happened is not right. Right now, I myself have taken a step back and I'm simply trying to heal. And I feel that you should do the same as well. I need time alone. I have isolated myself forced myself into being in hermit mode, staying quiet, staying consumed in my own thoughts. There are certain things that I did not think that would turn out the way they did. I don't understand why things got as far as they did to the intensity that they did. I have to heal. I'm contemplating my actions. I'm contemplating on how everything happened. You do have so much power over me. There's this brightness that you have. And I simply succumb to it. I fall prey to your seduction. You are so fine. You can seduce me without even trying and tempt me without even trying. And you still have me. Over time, I know you started to make me feel very emotionally vulnerable. And my reactions weren't exactly what you were expecting. I do feel that there is this sense of unconditional love that comes from you all the time. There is love that exists. It is pure, it is true. And it is sweet. You have always been there. 
You have always been that one who has always given. And yes, I have been the one who has taken. With you, I feel a sense of nurturing, nurturing, protection, caring, loving nature. I feel all of this. I also feel that the sense of nourishment. I feel this comes from knowing that there is this connection between you and I where I feel fulfilled knowing that you are out there. You fulfill me. I feel that having you in my life there is spiritual, emotional and physical satisfaction. You nourish all of those needs. And even though I am elsewhere with someone else doing something else, I still long for you. Even though I'm on the path with someone else, I still long for you and I look for you. I search and I wonder Will you be back in my life one day? For now, all I know is that I have to take a stand and I have to be more responsible. I can no longer be like I was before. I want to take responsibility for what I have said and what I have done and for the, for the things that I should have said but I didn't and the things that I should have done but I didn't do. I want to take responsibility for all of that now. All right, air sign. It seems like this person has become much more mature than they were before. The Hermit card in the Rider Waite deck very similar to the healing. This is a person that's retreated to the mountains to stay alone, to think, contemplate, wonder why I did what I did. Could I have made things better? But at the very least, it's very good. This person is finally starting to feel that they need to take responsibility. All right. Let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. Here, all right, I'll pull this out, fall right out. Here, this will show us what is blocking this connection. Princess of Cups. So you have Princess of Cups and Awakening. So the Princess of Cups here does talk about this in this person had given you and you know guys keep in mind that just because somebody's a twin flame soulmate or karmic partner doesn't mean that in this lifetime you're destined to be together. There are many soulmates you will meet in this lifetime from past lives that you've been with. There are many karmic partners. There is only one twin flame however. That's what makes Twin Flame very unique. The feelings that you have for Twin Flame, they may not have the same feelings for you. They may act. They may simply be a player. And it's because they've turned into what society has molded them into. Where they were born, what their childhood was like, how they learned how to survive, what they were like with a few lovers that they've been with. Many things have changed, so this person is not exactly what you thought. And this is just going to resonate with some of you, not all of you. But here is the issue. This person, when they made an offer or an invitation or a gesture, whatever they did to attract your attention, 
With this card, it indicates that this offer was empty. So the cup of love that should have been full of love was actually a, a cup that was empty. It just looked like it was full, but it was not. Here it talks about fickleness. So somebody who's very changeable, topsy-turvy, they say one thing, but then they do another. This person is not very stable in terms of their emotions or their decisions. Immaturity of affection. So they are very immature when it comes to expressing their, their feelings to you. There's a sense of immaturity here. There's also inconsistent, eh, can't talk, inconsistent or unreliable messages. So even if you would have texted them or talked to them, said to them, please, can you reply back? Or you're sending the messages here the person's very inconsistent and they're unreliable ambivalence and codependence when somebody is not answering back there's a reason why they're not answering back and if they really wanted to answer back they would nothing in the world would stop them they themselves purposely are stopping themselves from reaching out to you this person is simply I'm going to say it, they're a grown-ass child. They're a child and they act like one. They're almost spoiled to the sense they get so much what they want. In terms of relationships, they're really good at seducing. They're really good at what they do with their words. They're charming. But this person, and the, the, the whole issue is when it's a, a twin flame connection, you know, that fire just exists. It's irresistible. I mean, this person can say the sky is, you know, green, and you will say, oh, yeah, it is, just staring right into their eyes. <laughs> this is just the way it is. So take it with, I guess, what they call a grain of salt or whatever, a sour spoon. <laughs> um, be careful with this person because you guys thought that this person may have actually been true to you. And of course, this is not going to be for everybody. But if this person has been like this, inconsistent and unreliable, then the cup that they had offered you was actually an empty cup. It was not full of anything. It just looked like it was full, but it wasn't. So we have here awakening. So they know what you have to offer, what's on the table. They know this, and this comes from you. Here, however, we have creativity and procreation, not wanting that, not looking for love or sexuality anymore, even having problems with children or family, an unwillingness to accept your affection, and creatively blocking themselves internally and externally. There's a refusal to grow. Wow. Guys, this one's a tough one. Air signs, this is difficult because I would say quite a few of you are dealing with somebody that may not even come around. And it's not because, you know, you can't change the person, right? The person is the way they are. This is who they are. There may be somebody out there that might resonate with them. But it seems as if you may not be that person. All right, here the angels are telling you to be chipper and happy. Take care of yourself. They want you to focus on yourself, okay? This is what the angels are saying here. We have visualize success and then we have singing and dancing. Visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. And that is great. That's good for some of you that this is going to work out for. You can do this. For the rest of you, I would like you to visualize success going beyond this person. Because this person may seem the world to you right now. But it's unfortunate they don't, they don't think of you as anything, frankly speaking. For some of you. And you have seen the red flags. You know exactly what your girlfriends are telling you. You know what... You know, your pals are telling you, 
it's not worth it. It's time to make that change. And what they want you to do here, the angels want you to do, I know it sounds strange, but they want you to sing and dance. Here it says, express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Music has certain frequencies, vibrations that elevate the soul and can also make people sad. Depends on the type of music. Here we also have dancing. The movement itself in the air has meaning. For those of you that are trying to look for something to do, just something different, just make your mood feel better. Literally, if you have a room, you know, go to the room, close the door, put the music on loud and just start dancing by yourself. Honestly, it feels damn good. <laughs> it actually feels good. First of all, you get good exercise, but it'll change your perspective. You'll start to feel different because you're doing everything, right? Your, your senses, your hearing, you might even start to sing along, you're dancing, there's movement. There's so many activities that you're doing that it will change your own vibrational level. It'll make you feel better. All right, I have here Archangel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. So we have here, ask your angels. Then we have get more information. And followed by yes. then we have wait. <laughs> so you can call upon your angels through the power of the Christ consciousness, that is Jesus. Through him, you can get to Jehovah. From there, you can, we pray to God, but we request from angels. So we do not pray to angels. They don't listen to us when we just pray to them. They're not supposed to listen to us. When we pray to them, they're forbidden. So you ask your angels, you give them respect, but you always do it in the name of, through the power of Jesus and Jehovah, his father. Jehovah has many other names in the Abrahamic religion, so you can use other names that are also followed. You need to get more information about this person because you don't have the whole story of this individual. It does seem that yes, things will work out better for you in the end. However, if you have already waited they're telling you to wait a little longer. These messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Here, you're going to have to wait. This is what they're telling you. For some of you, that may be acceptable. For some of you, you might have been waiting for years. Well, perhaps now it's time to move on. and to see how good you are at singing or dancing. That'll be fun. All right, guys, I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance, and um, I'll see you guys again. Next up is water signs. Hello, water signs. So I will be looking into what it is that your twin flame is feeling towards you currently. And again, this is for, it is for May 2021, but time is fluid. So some of these readings, they may be jumping into May, uh, May, June. So it could be June as well. However, it's meant for this particular month. Some of you may have already gone through this. Some of you may be experiencing this right now. The rest of you may experience this in the far future. We have hearth and home, mothering, followed by crisis. Then we have a synthesis.
Wow. Water signs. You guys have been through a lot. And this person has put you through a lot. Oh my goodness. And they're now trying to be a bit wiser. Like you guys have had enough of this person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sorry if I haven't put these in order. But it's still the same. So it's all you three. <laughs> um, this is pretty bad. This this reading is like ridiculous. What did they put you through? Because they're feeling the burn of this now. This is karma. They're getting punished. Good. They're getting what they deserve. Their mind is all over the place right now. And it's because what they did was they totally used you. Completely. All right, I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. Here we have hearth and home. We have mothering, crisis, synthesis, challenge. And then we have victim, wisdom under the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling. My dear water sign. Since I've known you, I have felt this growing feeling as though you were so close to me like family. You are my family. And there are things about you that I find very unique. Things that I share with you and I don't feel comfortable sharing like that with anyone else. Outside around the world, I may seem like I have a rough exterior, but with you, you make me melt because you make me warm. You make me feel at home. I do feel and I have sensed this unconditional love that you have always showered upon me. This love exists and it is pure and it is clean and it is always there even when I make mistakes, even when I'm not the type of person that I should be, you still show me that you care. You give me that unconditional love. And I feel it. And I know it. Here, so much has happened and I have experienced so much nurturing coming from you. These feelings, they're so vast and they overpower me. Now, I am very overwhelmed. There are certain things that have happened where I just can't keep things together anymore. My mind is in a crisis mode. There is mental anguish, anxiety, frustration, and impatience in my mind. And I am very overwhelmed to the point I can't sort out my emotions. I don't know how to. And so, therefore, I am frozen in time. With you, I feel I need to restore harmony and peace. There once was this, but now there's no peace and harmony. And I find it very challenging. The situation has become so challenging. Things are not like what they used to be. It's hard for me to express myself to you. That itself is now a very big challenge for me. I do feel that I have taken you for granted. I have overindulged too many times. I have taken advantage of you and I have used you and I have manipulated you sexually, emotionally, even psychologically. I know I have done this. I have victimized you. You are the victim. 
and what I've done to you overwhelms me. How could I do this to somebody who loves me unconditionally? Where I feel that you are like my home, why did I take you for granted? Why did I do this to you? You are so sweet. Overall, I feel now there is this sense of wisdom. I believe that I have this new experience, this wisdom that is inside of me now, things that I didn't think of before. I look at the world in a very different way now. Everything makes sense. I have learned my lesson and I've learned my mistakes and I know I'm not going to repeat them again. If only you knew that I am a bit more wiser. I'm not the same as I used to be. Okay. I usually don't say this, but I just looked at the time and it's 11.11. 11. <laughs> That's funny. I just finished it and the time is 11.11. .11. This is a special reading. All right, guys, let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. We have strength followed by fertility. So here we have strength. Feeling insecure or fearful. So these are blockages. This is what's blocking this person. Feeling insecure or fearful. So there is fear and there is insecurity. The energies are scattered of this individual, creating discord to weaken others. So sometimes they, make, 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 they may make a big issue of something, even though it, there doesn't have to be an issue, but they just make it for the sake of drama. So that's not good. Here we have fertility. Deprivation or sterility. Feeling the lack of material resources and limitations that overwhelm. So here it appears that this person may also not have what it takes to provide to you, to give to you what it is that you need. They feel that they are lacking these things. And because they are lacking these things, that's exactly why they're feeling insecure. Because they can't give to you what it is that you need or what that you deserve. They don't feel that they can do that. Okay, I have here Dorian Virtue's Archangel Therapy Cards. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Wow, be willing to forgive. And we have Vegetarian Vegan. Here it talks about fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a high life force energy boost, which elevates your spiritual frequency. So in addition to what all you folks have, try to incorporate more fruits and vegetables into your diet. You can also incorporate them into your diet and associate them with certain chakras in your body. So if it's your heart chakra that you feel a little out of balance, have some greens, green type of foods. Here we have be willing to forgive. So this willingness comes from you. Ask the angels to clear your mind and your body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. 
Mm. You see, who's getting hurt in the end? Water sign, you are. If you don't forgive, it doesn't mean that this person's off the hook. That's not what that means. Forgiving is so that that piece of energy that is holding you back will be released. It's in a cage. No, nope, I'm not going to forgive him. No, nope, I'm not going to forgive her. There's a cage. You have that, no, I'm not going to forgive this person in this cage. Why do you want to keep that thing in this cage? Release it. Because... That's an extra piece of energy that you're holding on to that's bringing you down. It's not really affecting this person. Who it is affecting is you. Because along with not forgiving somebody, you have trauma, past memories, memories that haunt you. Things that just make you angry and frustrated about this individual. But when you actually get to the mindset of releasing and forgiving somebody, this is why it's so famous in the Bible, forgiving somebody is literally the release of that energy from you. And you feel lighter. You feel happier. You don't have the burden on your shoulders anymore. This is what this card is talking about. Be willing to forgive. Yes, some people we just can't forgive. If you can't forgive them, then forget about them. At least you won't have that cage inside of your body holding on to that little sentence that I just said. You need to be willing to let go of certain energies. There's an energy of anger, frustration, lack of forgiveness. And these energies have names. Some of them are demons. Some of them are evil spirits. They latch on to you. Some of you already know that I have certain methods that I use to get rid of them. And so if any of you do feel negative energies around you, you can reach out. Um, I have the chakra checkup if any of you are interested. It is on the bottom left side of the banner. You'll see my website. When you go to my website, you will see rates and packages on the bottom I have something called Chakra Checkup. What it is, I get rid, not I get, I don't get rid of them for you. I used to. Not anymore. I don't do that now. But I teach you. So I teach you and I give you all the tools, all the things you need to have that knowledge and that wisdom for the rest of your life, how to get rid of negative energies. I also teach you how to realign your own energy chakras. Okay, I don't do that for you, but you do it on your own. Why do I have it like this? Because I want you to empower yourselves and to be in that position where you just take care of yourself. You don't have to go and spend money over and over and over again to the same person or to different people. This is something that you will have for the rest of your life. There are certain methods that I've created because I've been through too, a lot of strange things in my life. <laughs> too many. Um, so I've created it and it's there. And for those of you that feel negative energy, you want to get rid of it, whether this is something in your home, around your aura, or even inside of you. I'll look into that with my angel guide. I look into your home. I look around your aura, and I also look inside of your body. Um, you don't know when this is happening. It's not. It's nothing spooky. Uh, my angel guide does it. So we look into it. I work together with her, and then I tell you how many you have and what you have, and then... From there, you're able to finally manage and get rid of them. And you feel better. You feel much later. But literally, one of them is also the feeling of forgiving. Forgive. There's compassion. There's forgiveness. And once you do that, you kind of feel like the bigger person. And when you feel like the bigger person, you're a little bit better. You feel lighter. This is what you need to feel. This is what you're supposed to feel like. You're not supposed to be burdened by those types of emotions. All right, that is your reading water sign. I hope everyone has enjoyed the reading and I will see you guys again next month. Take care and stay safe. Bye now.